heading the Orford uh, River up in Butte Inlet to see if we can find ourselves some grizzly bears. Gary Henkel can usually sense what his passengers are feeling as he takes them on his aboriginal adventure. But as on most journeys, getting there has its own rewards. The Del Porpoise, the, uh, the porpoise that we just seen there, they're the, uh, one of the fastest sea mammals in the world. They can uh, swim up to 40 miles an hour, 60 kilometers an hour wide open. Heading north from Campbell River, Gary follows a route of unforgettable moments. Just arriving at Orford Bay in Butte Inlet. Thank you. You're welcome. The second half of this adventure is led by Homalco tour guide Ella Paul. We have cougars, wolves, deer, elk, lynx, bobcat, uh, badger, beaver, grizzlies. Grizzlies are what they came to see, and it didn't take long. This is one of the several vantage points that put you as close to a grizzly as you will ever want to be. These awe-inspiring giants tend to be solitary animals, powerful predators. Dramatic gatherings of grizzly bears can be seen whenever the salmon run upstream for the summer spawning season. Despite their impressive size, weighing up to 363 kilograms, measuring between one and a half and two and a half meters, grizzlies are very fast and have been clocked at 48 kilometers an hour. Grizzlies coming from the Orford, Elgard, and from up down that way, so. Yeah, it's pretty special. You always gotta keep your eyes open for grizzlies that disappear and appear. My experience of seeing the bear was exciting and it was just amazing to see the grizzly bear up close and make making eye contact with us. It was just unreal. So it's really cool. Watching grizzly bears gather at the salmon streams to feast on the fish is breathtaking. They are craving fats that will sustain them throughout the long winter ahead. Their skill and persistence at fishing is legendary. female at the end there who managed to round himself up a salmon after a little bit of persistence tracked down the salmon and uh, managed to have himself a nice little feast right for the end 